Welcome back to the second video of the videos to get you the tutorials to get you started with Butterfly. If you haven't watched the first one, you have to go back and watch that and get uh, OpenFoam installed on Windows. Otherwise, uh, what I'm talking about in this uh, video is not going to be that useful for you. Maybe I mean it's going to be useful, but you won't be able to run any CFD simulation. Not that we are going to run any CFD simulation in this video, but I mean, if you don't want to run it, why are you watching this? So what I'm going to cover in this video is talking about what Butterfly is. Again, as I said in the last video, Butterfly is the third plugin uh, for the Ladybug tools that we are uh, releasing uh, to public. It has been under development now for more than a year. Uh, we have been just testing it for, I think, like five, six months now uh, to make sure there is no major bugs, but still this is a better release. Uh, there are uh, there are definitely a lot of features that are not there yet that will be added, but uh, we got the base workflow working and um, it, it should be enough uh, for, for many of at least the architectural problems that, that we have uh, for, for architects and engineers in, in the field of building design. But at the same time, it doesn't mean like you can only use Butterfly for that because Butterfly is using OpenFoam under the hood. And OpenFoam is the CFD engine is, which is pretty capable of, uh, of doing uh, several types of analysis. Uh, so, if you have never heard of OpenFoam and if you have never run uh, any CFD analysis in your life, where is the place to start? Is the best place to start by installing Butterfly and run one? I would say no. So the best place for you to start is to go to the same page that we went for installing uh, OpenFoam and go all the way down here. There is a page for learning resources. So. If you go here, there are two uh, different categories. One is architectural uh, aerodynamics and the other one is CFD and open foam. Both are uh, important, equally important, but again, uh, these are the things that maybe you want to read later or you already probably, most of you know some, some stuff about it, but definitely go and start from open foam for beginners and CFD basics to understand uh, more about what OpenFoam is and what CFD is. I click here. This is a great presentation by Jabran Haider. You probably, you don't need to use the files that he uses in this, uh, in this workshop. Uh, however, they're great because uh, you will use Butterfly as the interface that makes your life easier in that sense. But uh, I recommend to check these slides out. Uh, I used, uh, I'm using some of the starting slides from this presentation, a modified version. Uh, to talk about uh, what is OpenFoam and what is Butterfly for you. But again, uh, I, I suggest you to check all, all, all these slides here. Okay, so CFD with Butterfly. Uh, again, as I said, the opening slides are borrowed from uh, Jabron Hader's presentation. So what is OpenFoam? OpenFoam is an open source software package for running CFD analysis. It's developed by OpenCFD and ESI Group. Uh, and it's an efficient library of C++ modules. Uh, Butterfly is a Python wrapper on top of this uh, C++ module. Uh, if you have it installed, you don't need to know all these details. This is basically what it is. These are uh, resources that you can go and learn about OpenFoam. Similar to other open source developments, there's a lot of plenty of free materials available, which are uh, great. I mean, if, if you get yourself a start and you have a question or something, if you search it, there's always something, someone out there who has done it, you can read it, you can learn from that. It's just a matter of uh, willing to learn. Um, and this is a comparison between OpenFoam and commercial software available there. So OpenFoam is free. Uh, it does support uh, parallel computing. You have access to source code. Uh, again, it, it goes with the collaborative development all the stuff. It says it doesn't have documentation. I'm, I don't 100% agree with that. There is a great documentation available online. Um, I assume this, this presentation is older than, than when the documentation was available. And then uh, here is where Butterfly comes in. There, the GUI and user friendliness is not the best. Uh, most of people run it from command line and then they use some other interface to generate the geometry and all the stuff and then edit the text files. 
which is the part that uh, Butterfly will make easy for you. So you can use Grasshopper or Dynamo uh, to do that and just use create the geometry there and assign all the boundary conditions there, create the case, run the case, and visualize the results. This is the process. Uh, if you have used any other CFD simulation process is very similar. So you have pre-processing, solver, and post-processing. Uh, pre-processing is the geometry, boundary condition, and meshing. Uh, then you have solver. Uh, Open Foam has more than this, uh, but, but then you, you can do post-processing for result visualization, which for Open Foam people uh, normally use um, ParaFoam or ParaView. It's not installed with the OpenFoam package. So if you are a Linux user coming back here and type ParaFoam and it doesn't show up, you have to go and install it separately. It doesn't come as part of your installation, but you can install it as a Windows, normal Windows program, and then you can open it and you can use it. So this is a list uh, of a couple of pre-processing solver and, and post-processing features available. And you can see the, the green ones are for open foam, the orange ones are the other open source available, and the blue ones are the commercials available. And uh, open foam is, is uh, very flexible in a case of you can import the mesh coming from other software and then run the analysis with open foam uh, and that sort of stuff. You can see it has over 70 different uh, solvers. For uh, our case, we are so far we're using two of them. Uh, I will show the simple foam, uh, I think, in, 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 in the next video uh, to, to run uh, STD state uh, incomparable flow uh, analysis, which for our case is going to be an outdoor analysis when you only care about the airflow or a similar case for an indoor analysis in the room. And then there are plus 80 util different utilities. We will be using block mesh and snappy hex mesh uh, for, for meshing. And you see there are mesh conversions down there that I said, again, like uh, you can use then, you can use check mesh. We are using prop location is already part of the butterfly. Check mesh is there if you want to check mesh. And then we have the uh, parallel processing stuff also Im implemented so you can run the analysis in, in parallel. Uh, on your machine. So then that was open phone. What is Butterfly? Butterfly is a Butterfly itself is a Python API that that lets you create uh, open phone cases and run the analysis. Uh, we we use this Python library uh, that to uh, create libraries for uh, as plugins for Grasshopper and Dynamo, and you can use it for your own uh, software. Like if you have uh, if you're a Blender user, and we had people talking about this from Blender users that uh, you're a Blender user and you want to have a Butterfly for Blender. There are other plugins already there, but if you want to have a Butterfly, the core library of Butterfly is written in Python, and it's the core library, then you need to write a plus library, which is a minimal library that handles the geometry stuff and sends it to the, to the core library, and then you're done. You basically get... Uh, a new plugin for your interface. This is, uh, for example, how it looks like, because in this video, I'm not going to run the analysis, but just to get an idea. This is how it looks like in Grasshopper, and this is an old video, so now it, it doesn't look, like the components doesn't look like this, but what happened, I'm just running the analysis, the analysis is running, and while the analysis is running for time a step, you can see for each time a step here, it's loading the result, and you can see the resi residual values and, and all that stuff, and you can, even interact with the analysis uh, while it's running. But then I, I talked about developing your own uh, library. So where, where that thing is, again, if I go to GitHub, there is a butterfly repository and there is a butterfly, butterfly plus repository. And under butterfly plus, you can see there is a butterfly dynamo and butterfly grasshopper. So if you want to make Butterfly Blender or Butterfly OpenCAD or any other 3D modeling software or Butterfly Web, uh, all you need to rewrite is these libraries. And if you check these libraries, they're all very, very minimal. So there are a couple of lines, which basically the, the class is a subclass of the Butterfly case. And uh, you can see it's just load mesh and load points 
which are the geometry stuff that Case needs to handle, and it will be different between different platforms. Um, by that, uh, I, I hope now you know what is Butterfly and where it stands in the in the ecosystem of Ladybug tools. Uh, and I hope you can spend some time to get yourself uh, kind of uh, to get yourself fam familiarized by by uh, OpenFoam itself and CFD before you run your first simulation. In the next video, uh, from now on, there will be like two parallel videos, one for Grasshopper and one for Dynamo that you can watch and see how to use Butterfly in Grasshopper and Dynamo. Thanks for watching.